An eternal voyage through the murky blackness, sprinkled with billions of points of light, each with its own history, written there in the dark. This is a story inscribed upon one such point of light, a story of heroes. everyone, welcome back to Moss Plays Rogue Galaxy. Uh, you'll see that the story screen is a little bit different this time. The story screen tends to change uh, every time you advance the plot a little bit. Before we get into today's episode, I want to talk about um, uh, this. Uh, what let's, this playthrough might skip large chunks of exploration because the environments in Rogue Galaxy are huge. And repetitive and the enemy encounter rate is high so uh, just just getting from point A to point B on say the second world in the game can take three hours so uh, I might uh, trim down the exploration to skip through a lot of the random uh, enemy encounters and and the wandering around we'll see how it goes as I progress through the playthrough but, but first as we start this playthrough, we're going to be uh, fighting the game's first boss, and it is, unfortunately, a tough, tough boss. So, uh, and there's, it's, it's a tricky boss, so let's, uh, let's get straight on to it. The residential area is beyond here. Gosh, he's not a quiet fella, is he? Must be rather large as well. You're not planning on having all three of us go in there, are you? You want to fight them all by yourself? No, not at all. That's crazy, totally reckless. You know, Mr. Claw, I think you forfeit any points you earn if you, uh, die. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Uh, hey, wait up! Poor kid. We hardly knew him. There it is. Oh my lord, that thing is huge. This is that a is really certainly a big monster, all right. Um, Are you positive about this, Mr. Claw? Like I have a choice. They still think he's Desert Claw. And he Whoa, still hasn't bothered to correct huge. them. Uh, yeah. Now the Watch strategy you, here. We cannot run away from this one. Hang on! His foot arm was off! I get it now. That's a Mark 8 salamander. If we can manage to break the shackles on its legs, then the shield on its back will open up. 
Let's yeah, because that totally makes sense. Shackles. That makes sense. That makes total sense. Okay, so let's see. Okay. Ew. Hey, look at that. <laughs> That's gross. That's gonna be his weak spot. Try attacking him there. What? How am I supposed to do that? Jump on its back and hack away! Isn't it obvious? Are you uh, nuts? Uh, yeah, sure. There's let's no way! Let's just do that. I've got just the thing for this kind of situation. What's that? I'll tell you later. Watch this. What the? That's my monography <laughs> shot. What do you reckon? Do you like it? Jump on the back of those monography platforms and you can get up on the back of the beast. Here you go, big man. Why don't you take this for now? This is a, a thing we'll be using a lot. When the platform disappears, just shoot up another one. It's basically one. like the, remember, the magnet bolt, uh, must equip the, the magnet shot in, um... Before you can use it. Now's your chance. Go get him, In Mr. the Pro. first Mega Man game. If you uh, if you're old enough to remember that, um, now it's hard to it's, it's hard to time these jumps because he uh, he's kind of wriggling around a lot. Okay. Damn, man. Come on, dude. Stop. Stop. Ah, shit. Come on. Did, Did I, I get it? it? Nope. I'm nope. afraid not. But you're almost there. Is the battle recorder ready? That kind of beast will net you heaps of points. Make sure you get it all on tape. What? You mean this? Oh, now that is a well-used recorder. Use that to record your battle with the beast. And later on, you can turn it in for points. Now, if he's, uh, now, finish if off he's the, the hunter they think he is... After they shouldn't all, need to explain this prize. to him. All right. And here goes. Its heart has stopped, but it's still being controlled by the power of the rune. Destroy the rune in its head. Oh, come on. Like a legendary hunter needs your help. <laughs> hmm. I get the feeling he sort of does. I wonder why. Is he really Desert Claw? I suppose looks can be deceiving. Real master doesn't need to show off. He may not look it, but he's got the goods. Yikes. 
shit, I forgot to do that. There we go. Hooray! Ha ha! You did it! That's a desert claw! You're the real deal! That's a ridiculously tough boss for the first boss in the game. That's kind of insane. I mean, really. Something that tough right, right at the beginning of the game. It's obscene. But anyway, just as I thought, his potential. And there's the real desert claw. And what's he up to? I wonder. So listen, Mr. Claw, you got a real name or something, huh? Huh? Oh yeah. I'm Jaster. Jaster Rogue. Jaster, eh? Good. It's a bit weird to keep calling you Desert Claw. So from now on, if it's all right with you, I'm just gonna call you Jaster, okay? Now, let's get down to business. I'll be straight with you. Our boss says he wants to hire you. Would you come with us? Hire me? What? Why me? Good grief, isn't it obvious? Your Desert Claw, the legendary bounty hunter. And our boss, well, he wants to be a part of that. <laughs> Let's just say he's scouting you for our team. These guys still think I'm someone named Desert Claw. That means he must be Desert Claw. I had no idea he was such a big deal. What is it, Jaster? Are you feeling all right? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. So who is it that wants to ah, hire me exactly? He's just gonna go along with it. He's gonna pretend to be Desert Claw. Our boss, Captain Dorgan Goa. A pirate among pirates. What? Dorgan Goa? The space pirate Dorgan Goa? You mean, you guys do space travel? Of course. We're big time pirates. We travel all yeah, over you the galaxy. Look like a pirate. I mean, hunting has its moments, but tracking down immense treasure throughout the universe isn't half bad. Me. Up in space. Yeah. I can see that. Not half bad at all. Our ship is hidden in the desert to the west of here. Why don't you meet up with us there? In the desert? Well, you know, we had a couple of minor issues, and we couldn't actually dock at the spaceport. But look, we'll head back to the ship first. You come meet us there before tomorrow morning. All right? All right. Ta-da! You gotta wonder what hey, kind of weirdos Jordan Goa has when his crew. I haven't decided yet. If the first ones we meet oh, are be there, a C-3PO right. knockoff. see it in your eyes. And, um, made for the pirate life. Space armadillo there. Our ship. You need to take the west gate and head straight over the desert. Please be sure to prepare for your journey before setting out. We'll be seeing <coughs> you later. Ta ta. <sighs> so 
so that's uh, Simon and Steve, the space armadillo, and the protocol droid, who are apparently pirates. And they've mistaken Jaster for Desert Claw. Now this is handy, because the environments in this game are so damn huge. <clears throat> Do we have, oh yeah, we have more than enough. Uh, I guess I probably want to do some um, shopping and such. I can go to space, but how am I going to tell Raul? enough to rent the thing, so... Actually, put this one on the third page. That's a key item, so we'll put it there. Okay. Check the revelation flow. Can't really awake anything yet, so... <clears throat> Might not be a bad idea to stop over by the church and talk to Raul before leaving, uh... Captain Dorgan Goa, huh? So let's look at how these teleporters work. But first, let's look at, let's look at this first. Exchange points. Exchanging points increases your hunter's rank, and you might earn some little prizes for that. Like this. So, now let's look at the teleporters. If we use this one, We can land <clears throat> right over here by the church. So, uh, so let's see. The church is over this way. Talk to a couple of random people. Captain Dorgan Goa, huh?
Sounds like things have calmed down out there. Yeah. But it was a bit more tough than usual. I'm glad you're okay. Me too. But listen, Raul... What is it? Uh, never mind. Chicken. What's going on, Chester? <clears throat> Raul, I'm really grateful. You found me abandoned on the church steps and raised me to be who I am today. What's all this about? Are you okay? <laughs> Did you hit your head? Well, I'm heading out. All right. Man, what a chicken. Just freaking tell him. We're leaving the planet. <sighs> he, he, he knows. I'm sure he knows. But actually telling him would have been nice. You know? I wonder if they'll ever realize I'm not Desert Claw. Yeah, I wonder that too. So, here we go. Now here's something interesting. Let me move Jasper over here where they'll... Now what do you notice there about the teleporters and the, and the, te the birthmark on Jasper's face? What do you notice about that? You don't think that has any significance, do you? I just wonder if that has any significance. Okay, so we're going... Uh... This way. <clears throat> it was outside the western gates, right? Let's see. Jester. Uh, Raul, there he is. What are you doing here? Thought you could just leave without saying anything? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't want you to try to stop me. <clears throat> me? Stop you? I... He knew. I want to leave this planet and travel through space. I want to see new things and learn about this vast galaxy we live in. It's been my dream since I was little. Come on, Raul. What do you say? <sighs> I'm sorry, Raul. Thank you so much for raising me and taking care of me. Well, <coughs> I'm off. Wait. I always knew this day would come. Do you remember when you were just a boy? We'd always look up at the stars together. Yeah. Of course I remember. We'd gaze up at the stars and talk about outer space. You know, Raul, I've made up my mind. I want to go into space one day. Really? And what would you do out there? Huh? Well, um, I don't know. I don't know, but I still want to go, for sure. Can I, Raul? Huh? Can I? Of course you can, Jaster. You can do anything you want. Uh-huh. Right now, your eyes are shining just like they were back then. 
Self-assured, straightforward eyes. I kind of wish this game had picked a better font. I don't think I for the could subtitles. stop you if I tried. I mean, really. It'd be nice if it had a font that looked a little bit less like Comic Sans. I don't think that actually is Comic Lord Sans. Chester, but it's close enough but to, I want uh, you to, remember something. to kind of a... Uh, You're the only family yeah. I've got. From the moment I first held you, a crying little baby, 17 years ago, I've come to think of you as my son. And that, my boy, will never, ever change. Raul. I'll be waiting here for your return. I'm sure it'll be a little lonely. Raul. Someday, I'm gonna save everyone on this planet. I can't let Rosa remain in slavery forever. Then I'll stay here, hoping and praying for your success. You know, there was another uh, desert boy Take that said yourself, that one time Justa. before he went out to space. Uh, things didn't turn out so well for him. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If you're a, des if you're a desert orphan, uh, on a desert planet, maybe you don't, uh, maybe you don't make promises like that before you leave the desert planet. It's, uh... Anyway. So there it is. And that's definitely a pirate so ship. So that's Dorgan Goa's ship, huh? A real, actual ship. And so parked comes in the middle the end of the desert. One long day. Come dawn. It's supposed to go into I'll space. I'll be leaving this planet. Something up there is waiting for me. I can feel it. And that's why I'm going into space. On a wooden pirate ship, with sails and everything. <clears throat> It's almost morning. Hey, Chester! Over here, big man! I have to admit that these rendered scenes are gorgeous. Hey! Whoa! Uh, what gives? Uh, uh, uh. What the? Well, let me get the deposit bag on that rental. Holy crap. Now that's a sandworm. What the hell? That is huge. Is that a Sarlacc? Good lord. That is ridiculous. Oh dear! We gotta get out of here, Jaster! Hurry up and get on! <coughs> hey! What's the big idea? <laughs> They're already pulling up anchor. A literal anchor! Cold-blooded.
Well, someone's a badass. Hello! Hello, web interest! Oh, and blatant that salty phone! It's like they cloned Selfie Tillman and they are cool! She doesn't like Who trains, she you? likes pirate ships. Man, he's just everywhere. He's just freaking everywhere. If you didn't know you were playing Rogue Galaxy by now, now you do. <laughs> now that's what I call a close shave! Seeing monsters that big and ugly nearly sent me into a tailspin myself. Man, I didn't mean to leave you out there like that. We fully intended to come back for you later. I swear. Bullshit. It doesn't matter. I got saved in the end. Listen, that girl back there. You mean Kasala? Wow, you sure don't waste any time. That's desert claw for you. Listen though. Don't you be getting any ideas, big man. To tell you the truth, she's... <clears throat> so this is the guy. Recognize that voice? The legendary hunter, Desert Claw. Are you... Captain Dorgan Goa? Huh? <laughs> hey, Baldhead, set this kid straight. <clears throat> Allow me to introduce Zegram Gart, the Black Wolf. He's a bounty hunter handpicked by our boss, like you. He's skilled all right, but he's got a big gob on him. Says he's a lone wolf. I think he just doesn't have any friends. I hate teaming up with small fries. Never expected Desert Claw to be such a youngster. Guess you can't trust rumors, can you? <laughs> Anyway, nice to meet you, Desert Claw. <laughs> hey, he knows so you're Desert Claw. He knows he's not. He's not. He's not as dumb as the rest of these guys. Wait, you're a talking you cat. One only first mate, Muncha. Uh, is the captain still napping? Oh, he can be such a pain. Oh! The Desert Claw has a shrewd look about him. That's what the captain would have said. I'm sure of it. When the captain's not around, I'm the one in charge. And Desert Claw or not, you'd better follow orders. You got that? Uh, okay. <laughs> Excellent. Now that that's out of the way, you're an official crew member on the Dorganok! Alright, now that we have the legendary hunter Desert Claw on our side, nothing can stop us! The treasures of the universe are ours for the taking! Hey, Raul! Where's that ship going? I'm not sure. Maybe to some planet somewhere. Really? What do they have on other planets? Well, all sorts of things. Like what? What kind of things do you mean? 
Well, I've never been myself, so I don't really know. Ah, oh, Raul, you're no fun. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I happen to like this planet. As long as I can live here, I'll be satisfied. Really? Then I want to go into space. I want to explore the galaxy and see what it's like out there. Oh, really? I'm sure you will one day. Yep, and I bet it'll be super cool. And when I come back, I'll tell you all about it, Raul. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, it's nothing. So, what do we do now? Oh, that's right. I forgot. Now we head for Zerard. Zerard? Goodness, haven't you heard of it? It's very advanced. The most civilized planet in the galaxy. So, why are we going there? We've got some important business there. Dorgan Ark, full speed ahead! Aye, aye. Your instructions will follow. Now I've got some lunch to eat, <clears throat> so if you'll excuse me, I'll be seeing you all later. Meow. Yeah, meow to you too. You can take it easy too, Mr. Rogue. Perhaps you'd like to have a look around the ship while we're in transit. Good idea. I mean, after all, this place is your home now, isn't it? Okay, so this is the ship. And there's a lot of just random NPCs all over the place here. Now Zegrim, you may have recognized his voice if you've watched Cowboy Bebop or um, Star Wars Rebels or uh, Big O or a lot of other shows, but especially if you watch Cowboy Bebop. Must be from all sorts of planets. Places on the ship we can go, and places on the ship we can't go. This ship sure has been through a lot. Well, Mr. Rogue, what do you think? Huh. I like it. The Dorgan Ark may be a little old, but it's still the best in the galaxy. Whenever I leave the ship, I can't wait until we get back so I can take the helm again. The best in the galaxy. I like the sound of that. Very good. 
<coughs> By the way, can I ask you something? Of course, what is it? Why is Dorgan Goa scouting out all of these great hunters? He must That's have a something good in question. Mind. Well, um... <coughs> maybe you'd better ask the captain yourself. It's not really my place to say. Yeah, I figured as much. I mean, Dorgan Go is going so far as to scout hunters from all over the universe. But for what purpose? Oh, uh, say, we're about to pass through the Rose Nebula. Why don't you go up on deck and take a look? Best seat in town. Go up on I deck. I the locks on the deck hatch. I have a wooden you spaceship. You can get there from the lower staircase. Got it. I'll check it out. Go up on deck of a wooden spaceship that's in the vacuum of space. Sure. Why not? Uh... Got to thank that girl. And there's Kisala. Hey! Over here! And her yellow shirt. And her perky attitude. And her boobs. Oh, hey. And basically her whole Thanks selfie thing. Thanks for saving thing. me earlier. Oh, it was nothing. Not bad, huh? That's because I'm a pirate, too. Yeah. Hmm. Personal space! Uh. Personal space! I always pictured Desert Claw as someone a little more intimidating. Huh? But you've got awfully pretty eyes. Uh, and so mm. do you. You sure don't look uh, like a battle-hardened hero. Mm -hmm. Oh, he looks a little hardened. In fact, you uh, might just be a big huh? fake. Uh, um, I... Look! It's the Rose Nebula! What? It's beautiful. You know, I've always loved this place. I don't know why, but looking at the stars somehow calms me. Same here. I've always wanted to be up in space. My dreams finally come true. <laughs> you sure don't sound like the galaxy's top bounty hunter. Well, uh, I mean, so what? I guess. My name's Kisala. Nice to meet you, Desert Claw. I'm Jaster. Jaster Rogue. Hi. Jaster? Oh, right. Have you met Papa yet? Papa? My dad, Dorgan Goa. He's the captain of this ship. What? Uh-huh. So, you're... Right. His daughter. Whoa. Huh? That means he's uh, off limit. What the? Uh-oh. That's not good. Beasts! How did they ever get so close? <sighs> Jester, look out! <gasps> space whales! Well, space manta rays or space sharks, Here I guess? Come on, oh. see if you can take us.
fly in space, it shouldn't be able to survive re-entry, it's made of wood. Seriously. Now that it should be able to do. supposed to go to Zarad, but just our luck, we've crash-landed on Jeraika of all places. Whoop-dee-doo! <laughs> so, this is Jeraika, the jungle planet. Well, can you fix it? Almost everything can be repaired right away, but the engine... This is definitely going to take some time. Oh no! This is just fantastic! The what fix now? Is a no big thing, but we're all out of booster oil! You're kidding! Now what? There aren't any starship markets on Jerica. What are we supposed to do? Come on. That's no way for a bunch of space pirates to act. Alright, listen up, you rank amateurs. That oil is made from the fruit of a particular tree that has highly flammable sap. Apparently, that fruit grows on a certain jungle planet. I think you get my drift. Fetch quest? Of course, that's right. I remember now. The booster oil we need comes from this fire fruit that's harvested here on Jerica. If we can get a hold of some of that fruit, we'd be able to make more oil with it. Well, that seems convenient. Very good, Bolthead. Fire fruit, huh? Let's go. Simon, Steve, we'll leave the repairs to you. Aye, aye! 
Did we have to land on such a sweltering planet? Okay, so, uh, we're gonna wrap it up here for this episode. Um, tune in next time for the next episode of Mall Plays Rogue Galaxy. Uh, Log 3, the natives are restless but not breathless, or long, hard jungle expedition. See you next time! <laughs> <laughs>